welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I'm here with an old friend that I have not flown with in like what seems like years. Uh, but anyway, we're out at this park and I feel like I need to address something here. Everyone I talk to who has seen me fly the DJI FPV system seems to think that I don't fly analog anymore, which is shocking and frankly hurtful. Um, no, I still have an analog quad in the air and I also have a DJI quad. I, I fly, I alternate typically. Uh, I fly DJI specifically, I guess, when I'm alone. And when I'm with friends, I fly analog. It's not like, it's not like I have to choose one or the other. Uh, the Facebook groups seem to think that you kind of have to decide on which is better. And I definitely think that there's like a balance so for that purpose, I'm actually going to fly both quads in this video, um, and I don't think you'll be able to tell too much of a difference. So let's get to flying. idea instead of me flying both quads uh, so like switching back and forth between analog and digital uh, low fly is going to fly my digital system instead and yep. I, I kind of trust his opinion more than my own because at this point I've flown DJI long enough to like figure it out sure. I want to see what he thinks about the difference between analog and digital. So he just got done flying his first pack on analog and now he's gonna go to digital. And we're gonna see what he thinks about it. So here goes. I mean, do you like how it looks? It looks great. Okay. Like, yeah. I, I don't think there was ever any dispute about that, but yeah. yeah. No, it looks amazing. I just. <laughs> okay, now I gotta use this opportunity to find all the gaps. <laughs> yeah, scope it out, yeah. There's like some gap behind, behind these trees that I was trying to hit. I don't I don't want to try it on your quad because I don't know your... Uh, wait, no, it's right over here. <laughs> I don't want to get it stuck in the top of a tree. First go. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm going for go. it. <laughs> did you, it just felt did, good. Did you hit it? <laughs> kind of. I, I, I exited it a little early. Sure. But... Uh, I, I kind of hit it, so you'll get the idea when you watch the footage yeah. that I was talking yeah. about. I can go up to the gap. There we go. Yeah, this is this is very nice. Cool. I don't really notice any latency, although I don't think I'm like one of those people who would be able to. And the other thing is I'm flying on Crossfire for the first time. True. So I use FreeSky. Yeah, so there's probably like... Maybe it's canceling out. Right, right. Like the control link is closer to reality or real time and... You would almost think that it would become more noticeable if Ooh, you have a faster yeah. control link, but... Slower video link. Yeah, mm -hmm. but maybe maybe not. I, I, I think I'm just kind of desensitized to it. Yeah, I mean, I was only able to tell on like my first two packs and then... Then I pretty much just decided why not fly in high quality mode all the time. These, so I'm not really worried about it. But I really like how your quad flies. Thank you. I want one. Flight one. So. Like I know I don't notice any like prop wash, which I always have. Yeah. And your disarm is. Same. Yep. Same okay. switch. Cool. Well. That was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Can I fly another one? <laughs>
Okay, we're gonna call it for today. Um, we got like some cool chase footage in. Uh, you were an excellent lead pilot, and I think the chase footage turned out great. You were doing some awesome like tree cruising stuff uh, yeah. that I haven't seen. Finding those gaps. I know, it's <laughs> super cool to watch. Uh, so I clearly need to work on that. But yeah, anyway, I wanna thank you for coming along, and uh, make sure you check out my sponsors too. They're always a big help. So, thanks for watching.